Hey guys, in this video I will show you three different gimbals that are small, light and easy to use for both personal or professional use. The first gimbal is the smallest of the bunch, it's the Zion Tech Crane M2, it weighs only 1.1 pounds or 0.5 kilograms. It can handle small cameras such as action cams and smartphones up to 1.6 pounds or 0.7 kilograms. It has a battery that lasts 7 hours and is uh, almost half the price of the remaining two gimbals. The next gimbal is the DJI Ronin SC, it's significantly bigger and weighs twice as much as the first gimbal at 2.4 pounds or 1.1 kilograms. It can also take a bigger payload though, uh, at a max of 4.8 pounds or 2.2 kilograms. It also has a much longer battery life of 11 hours. The last gimbal is from Moza and it's the Aircraft 2. It's almost identical in size to the DJI Ronin SC and weighs just over 2 pounds or 0.9 kilograms. Yet, it can carry the biggest camera load of 7.05 pounds or 3.2 kilograms. It also has the longest battery life up to 12 hours. All gimbals come with a travel case and they all have an app that you can install on your Android or Apple phone. They're very similar in operation and have identical modes such as uh, the all locked off mode, the pan follow mode, uh, pan and tilt follow and POV mode where the gimbal will follow in all axes. All three gimbals even have the vortex mode that allows you continuous 360 degree barrel shots. Plus, all three gimbals have tracking mode where you can have the gimbal automatically follow a person or object in the shot. There is also a fun little feature that is only available on the Moza Aircraft and the DJI Ronin SC where you can point your phone and have the gimbal in real time follow the motion of your phone. I found this to be a bit more responsive on the Moza Aircraft 2. Through the apps for each gimbal you can configure the smoothness versus responsiveness of each gimbal plus adjust a whole bunch of settings and remotely operate the gimbals. All the gimbals are built well and all offer locking axes so it makes balancing and traveling with them easier. Now I'm gonna let you guys take a look at some of the test footage I shot with each gimbal. Hit it! That's what I'm talking about! Wait! Okay now, from the beginning. Hit it boys. From the beginning. When it comes to the face tracking feature, I feel like it's a great idea and something that would be very useful to people who do vlogs or one-person productions where you need to have a camera follow you around without having anyone to operate it. Unfortunately, none of these gimbals have that feature perfectly working. If you are in the shot and don't move too fast, then it's okay. But the second you move sudden moves or if you turn around, then all the gimbals will have problems tracking your face again. So, which gimbal is the best? I think if you want something that is smallest, lightest and easiest to travel with, but also something that will work with not just a small mirrorless camera, but also action cams or smartphones, then go for the Zion Tech Crane M2. 
Now if you don't care about shooting on a phone and want something that is still fairly light but can handle a mid-size mirrorless camera and maybe even a follow focus then go for the DJI Ronin SC or the Moza Aircross 2. Personally I like both of them but I prefer slightly more the Moza Aircross 2 simply because it comes with more things right out of the box plus it can also handle the most weight. But please let me know what you guys think is the best gimbal and why by leaving me a comment down below. Also don't forget to check out my website tomantosfilms.com for more info on these gimbals as well as other gear reviews and filmmaking tutorials. My name is Tom Antos and I'll see you in the next one, bye!